Bitcoin hit $35,000 on October 24th for the very first time in almost 18 months after May 2022. And although it did go below $35,000, but it came right back up a couple of days later to the same mark of $35,000. At the time of recording this video, Bitcoin is currently trading at just over $34,000. This price movement in Bitcoin raises a couple of questions. First, why is Bitcoin rallying so much when the global atmosphere is in turmoil? There are are a couple of ongoing wars and the geopolitical status of the world is not so good. And the second question is, are we going to witness a bull run? To answer the first question, let us understand why Bitcoin is currently trading at around $35,000. Why did it hit that mark in the first place? There are a couple of reasons for this. Now, let us take a look at the price of Bitcoin. 30 days ago, Bitcoin was trading at around $26,000 to $27,000. And right now it's trading at about $34,000, hit a $35,000 mark and came back to $34,000. That is about a 27.5% increase in the price this month. So why is it that in just a span of a month, Bitcoin's price increased by 27%? On October 13th, the news came out that the SEC won't appeal the court's decision on Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF. Now, before we understand what this appeal was about, let us go back to the month of August when Grayscale actually won its lawsuit against the SEC. Grayscale wanted to convert its over-the-counter Bitcoin trust into a Bitcoin spot ETF. The SEC rejected Grayscale's application to convert Grayscale's Bitcoin trust and the reason that the SEC gave for the rejection of Grayscale's application was that Grayscale did not design its products to prevent from any fraudulent or manipulative practices. And obviously, right after that decision of rejection came in, Grayscale filed a lawsuit against the SEC and eventually won the lawsuit. Coming to the SEC's decision to not appeal the court's decision on Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF, this is actually being seen as a positive feedback towards the Bitcoin spot ETFs. And this is actually why, as soon as the news came out, Bitcoin's price went above $27,000. So right after the SEC's decision, Grayscale filed for a Bitcoin spot ETF again. Now, it is important for us to note that Grayscale is the largest cryptocurrency fund in the world with about $20 billion worth of assets under management. And it is also important to understand that Grayscale is not the only asset manager that has applied for a Bitcoin spot ETF. There are other big asset managers, including BlackRock, Fidelity and ARK Invest that are also in the race for a Bitcoin spot ETF approval. Not not only that, but BlackRock's Bitcoin Spot ETF was actually listed on Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation's website. The DTCC processes trillions of dollars worth of securities transactions on a daily basis. And BlackRock's shares being listed under the name of iShares with a ticker of IBTC sent a positive signal to the crypto community that BlackRock's spot ETF listing was imminent. Now, it is also important for us to note that the DTCC has said that BlackRock's iShares were listed way back in August earlier this year and also that BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF has been listed on the eligibility file, which contains both active funds and potential Bitcoin spot ETFs that could be listed. However, it is also important for us to understand that this listing does not mean or does not guarantee a Bitcoin spot ETF approval for BlackRock or any other asset manager. However, this move has certainly sent a wave of excitement and which is why Bitcoin's price further rose to $35,000. To take into account, right after the crypto community got to know about BlackRock's iShares being listed on the DTCC website, BlackRock's Bitcoin spot ETF listing disappeared right after. However, they reappeared on the DTCC website and during this time period, Bitcoin's price, it hit $35,000, went back to about $33,000. And then when the news of Bitcoin's spot ETF being relisted on the DTCC website came in, Bitcoin's price hit $35,000 again. Now, why are institutional investors as well as retail investors awaiting SEC's approval decision regarding spot ETFs? I've covered everything related to Bitcoin spot ETFs in this video right above. Now, just to give you a simple summary of why everyone, specifically institutional investors and retail investors, investors are interested and are awaiting SEC's decision for the approval of Bitcoin spot ETF. It is important to understand that once Bitcoin spot ETFs, they get approved, billions of dollars worth of investments are going to come and flood in the crypto space because all the retail investors that were earlier apprehensive about investing in Bitcoin would now get an opportunity to invest through a safe route of investment. They're going to invest through these asset managers who are going to take care of their investments and this would lower the risk of 
them losing money in digital assets, specifically Bitcoin. So this is why institutional investors, asset managers and retail investors, all of them are awaiting SEC's approval. However, we still do not know as to when the SEC will take a firm decision on the approval or rejection of these spot ETFs. What we do know is that the SEC pushed back the date for the decision on the spot ETF in August 2023. It pushed back and delayed the deadline which will now take place in early 2024. Not only are the institutional investors interested and in awaiting a decision, JP Morgan has also come out with a report that we all could hear from the SEC on the decision earlier next year on the approval of multiple spot ETFs. The deadline for the SEC to take a decision is approaching earlier next year. Now, it is also important important for us to understand the, that the SEC has been critical of Bitcoin and the crypto market as a whole. And the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, has said that crypto market is filled with scam stores, fraud stores, and all kinds of money laundering takes place in the crypto space. However, the recent actions of the SEC tell a different story, be it the decision to not appeal court's decision on Grayscale's Bitcoin ETF or dropping of the lawsuit against XRP or Ripple. So it is going to be interesting to see as to which direction is the SEC going to take from here on while everyone in the crypto space is looking for a positive sign and this is exactly why we are witnessing a positive movement in the crypto market specifically in Bitcoin. While we await the SEC's decision on the approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF or multiple Bitcoin spot ETFs, it is important for us to understand and be aware of the current situation in the market and take decisions accordingly. Now what do we have to be aware of? I'm pretty sure that you must have heard of this quote buy the rumor sell the news and this is exactly what is happening right now the price movements in the crypto space have taken place on the basis of rumors and speculations as of now rumors and speculations of the sec's approval of bitcoin spot etf which is why we are witnessing the price movement and which is why bitcoin hit thirty five thousand dollars buying the rumor and selling the news while we are witnessing a positive sentiment regarding the price of bitcoin in the market right now once the news comes out we can never be sure as to what will the market sentiments at that point of time be because if we go by the rumors we are going to witness a downfall in the price after the news comes out but we do not know and we can never be sure as to what will happen in the short run and i'm also sure that you must have come across this very famous quote by warren buffett be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful to understand the context of this quote let us understand the fear and greed index which actually tracks the market sentiments it is currently at 68 which shows that there is greed in the market and now when there is greed in the market it is time to be fearful if we go by the quote with regards to what is going to happen in the short run as per this particular fear and greed index there is certainly greed in the market and no one for sure can tell as to what is going to happen in the short run in the next four or five months but in the long run as more and more institutions adopt bitcoin we are going to see some positive price movement also please do not take this as financial advice do your own research before you make any investment decisions and take care of your investment what do you think about the approval of a Bitcoin spot ETF or multiple Bitcoin spot ETFs? Please let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, please share it with your friends and family and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.